Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, please hit that notification bell. I invite you to do so. Why? Because I want to take you on this journey with me. I want to thank you for rocking with me so far, and I want you to hit that notification bell, go to all notifications, so you won't miss a beat. It'll get delivered directly to your feed. You'll know exactly when my videos drop to YouTube, I want to take you on this journey with me. If you've been rocking with my content, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let's continue with part two into my deep dive into BDK Parfums. Last week we discussed Tabac Rose. This week we are going to discuss BDK and Oud Abramad. Now Oud Abramad came out in 2016. The nose behind the fragrance is David Benedek. The notes from the top, we have saffron and ginger. In the mid, we have cumin, Turkish rose. And in the base, we have oud, incense, gayak wood, labdanum, patchouli, castorium, and ambroxid. Sizes and prices, you can get a 10 mil of this for $45 USD, or you can pay for the 100 mil. That will run you $215 USD. Not too bad on the prices. BDK knows where we like to, you know, stay between for wonderful fragrances. So those are the sizes and prices, not too bad. So this is predominantly an oud and wood fragrance, and it is potent. It is potent, y'all. I'm telling you, if you spray this, please allow 10 to 15 minutes before you go out into the masses, because I don't want anybody you know, having an adverse reaction, uh, taking you by the neck and, and, you know, casting you aside or anything like that. I want them to smell the best version of this fragrance. And I have to admit, on first spray, it is a little off-putting, at least to my nose. However, after 10 to 15 minutes after it settles down, it becomes magical. Magical. It opens with the Gayak Wood Bitter Oud Blend. There is no mistaking this blend. It is very well known. Um, the oud is not fecal or medicinal in any way. It's just not. I know oud can sometimes come off as barnyardy or fecal or astringent or medicinal. This oud is very well refined, very well blended. It does not come off in any of those negative ways whatsoever. Um, saying that, I do have to say this. It does have a modest animalic facet. But this facet differentiates this fragrance from other oud fragrances, oud wood fragrances. Um, the cumin and the castorium provide that slight animalic bite to this fragrance, but it's not unwearable. It's actually quite distinguishable. You will get noticed with this fragrance. I'm not going to say that you won't because you absolutely will. You will not smell like anybody else in the room. Um, but that castorium and that cumin just offers that little bit of a bite that you're gonna need to stand out from a crowd and i absolutely enjoy that about this fragrance um it has incense the incense is kind of smoky and churchy it gives oud abramat a genuine feel like you are overseas and the first fragrance that you smell everywhere is going to be this one. That incense is so genuine and so sincere that you can't help but fall for this fragrance. And I have absolutely fallen for Oud Abramad. Uh, the Turkish Rose does sweeten up the fragrance a bit, comes off as um, a little bit of a ripened plum-like fragrance to my nose. Um, not a true plum fragrance. This is an oud wood fragrance through and through. But that Turkish Rose does sweeten up the fragrance just a little bit to make it a little bit more palatable for most people. I also smell or I get the vibe of dates. Now I love dates. I love dates wrapped in bacon. I love dates period. I just love dates. So I get a date vibe with this fragrance. Um, and that adds some additional sweetness to the plum vibe that I'm getting. Um, the cumin really does come out on my skin in the dry down. Um, in the mid in the dry down, I'm sorry. 
but it doesn't smell like cumin B.O. Now, I know that a lot of people are afraid of cumin. I was once too, trust me. I was, I was not a fan of it. This does not smell like B.O. Saying that, I am going to tell you that it does have a little bit of, for lack of a better term, because I could not think of a better term, it does have a little bit of a funk to it, but funk in a positive light, in a positive way. So if you were into interesting scents, scents that'll set you apart from the crowd, I believe you will absolutely enjoy, and if you like oud, I will believe you will absolutely enjoy oud abramad. Like I said, the, the funk is light and it is positive, but it is there. So that makes for an interesting fragrance, and I love interesting fragrances, just like a lot of you do. Um, like I said, from first spray, this kind of gets in your face. I'm not gonna lie. This is, it does it come off as kind of off-putting on first spray, but give it 10 to 15 minutes, y'all. I'm telling you, give it 10 to 15 minutes. Once it settles down, I believe you will fall head over heels for Oud Abramad. Um, it's warm, it's inviting, it's nice, it's cozy, it's sexy. This is perfect for the cooler weather. Do I think you can wear this in the spring? Yes, I do. Do I think you can wear this in the summer? Oud fragrances are typically worn in the Middle East in very warm to hot climates. Do I think you can pull this off in the summer? You certainly can. Do I think the Western world is ready for it? I do not know. <laughs> I don't know if the Western world is ready for it. We are just starting to come into Oud here in the West, in the East, and in the Middle East. It is everywhere in 100 plus degree temperatures. Here in the West, we are starting to come around, but I don't think we are there yet. So you may get some funny looks. However, I'm telling you, I wear what I want when I want. So if I wanted to wear this on a summer day, I absolutely would. And I don't think that you should um, segregate your fragrances by season. Wear what you want when you want. I think this is a standout fragrance from BDK. I love it. And the performance, <laughs> the performance, 11 hours plus on my skin, 11 hours plus. You will have to take a shower to get this off of your skin. I know from a fact that I have had to shower twice, twice to get this off of my skin. So the performance backs up everything I've said. It is a strong, strong, strong performer. This is a standout fragrance from BDK. I give it eight and a half out of 10 overall. I am pleased with it. At some point, I will probably get a full bottle. Not right now, because I'm actually trying to be an adult and you know, do adult things and pay stuff off and things like that. But I rest assured, I will be getting a full bottle of Oud Abramad very, very soon. That's my time, y'all. Thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.